Okay, so we found the booth that the AF-15 got stolen from. It's actually someone who we've seen multiple times here at Megacon, so very sad. So let's talk to him and see if we can help him maybe find the book. Two seconds. Right there where the Ghost Rider book is. I was servicing customers on this side. Now, I didn't see it. I didn't witness it. But I have to suppose they either leaned over and grabbed it or came in from underneath and grabbed it. Yeah, the yeah, I mean, they might have reached under there. They could have went in from around here. Could have been hunting for the books and then snuck their hand through the back there somehow. I should have been more alert. I, it's my fault. Uh, it was a big book and it kind of hurts, to be frank with you. But they had to either go under or go over while I was tied up on this side of the booth. Um, the sheriff's department has been very cooperative. There were three sheriffs here. They went around to all the dealers selling my type of stuff. People like Tony, uh, people like Tony are very cooperative. This guy's gonna have trouble moving this book. It's a 1.0 graded. It's a 1.0 graded, and there are definite highlighted problems that we even if he takes it out of the slab, you'll see right away it's the same book. The sun came up this morning. I'm here. I'm not letting it ruin my weekend. But I'm kind of bummed out. I paid 15 for the book in December. I was trying to get 25 for which everybody agrees is realistic. I'm never gonna have a profit now. But I gotta do something to get my 15 back. So being here and selling more books, uh, th th that's my element. I won't forget it, but I gotta move on. Notice the sunshade on the right side of the cover. Those uh, will distinguish the book immediately, whether it's slabbed or not. Yeah, you can and see that bottom left corner. Yep, yep. So it's definitely gonna be a hard book for them to sell. Then let me show you the back of it because there's distinguishing marks on this one too. Look at the back. Totally identifiable by the issue. Yeah. So you bought this on Heritage Auctions, right? Yeah. I, I'm, I spend a lot. I spend over six figures with them every year. I already had the high-grade AF-15 in stock at 60K. I wanted one that was more affordable. So I bought this in December for 15. I put 25 on it. I would have gotten between 22 and 25 for the book. But now, of course, that's all out the window. Also, I'm offering a $1,000 cash reward if anybody brings the book back to me. No questions asked. We got about 30 minutes until it's 2 o'clock. The John Bernthal meeting and like discussion is on the other concourse. So we need to go all the way over there and then we have to go up to floor number three. Up to level three we go. Hopefully we'll see John Bernthal. Hopefully. That guy is tough. So that's acting one, okay? <laughs> acting one. And I want to add all the time to that. If anybody in here saw Arrested Development, okay. what did I charge? I charged what was in his bank account. So, acting one, come on, put it up here. Whatever's in your bank account, I gave the lesson, let's pay up now. I gave myself a question of the decade because I want to make sure a favorite question we got out there. But I, I, we're going to get some Arrested Development, I promise. They canceled John Bernthal. I'm not happy. Yeah, we got Carl Weathers. John Bernthal got scratched out for 215. A little question mark. All right, thank you. Large cosplay coming through. Large cosplay coming through. Thank you. Large cosplay coming through. We have some great Golden Age Planet comics. Oh, look at that shock suspense. How much is that one? Wow, that's a sick book. 5.0. Yeah, some nice green lantern. First Craven in a 4.5. First green goblin. Avengers. Avengers number one for 3,500. That's a classic one right there. First crossover with Daredevil and Spider Man. Vault of Horror. Shock suspense. Look at those colors. Nice. They're definitely some higher priced books. 350 though, I mean, solid prices. This one's 180. That's a pretty sick one there. The Wear, Black Cat Mystery, Black Magic. Oh, here's some Chamber of Chills. Oh, there you go. You got this one. Four hundred and fifty bucks. Wow, look how nice these are, though. It's really nice. You got six on that. Issue twelve. Wow, look at these, Sarah. I wish I would have found this booth when we first got here. This is why you got to look well, everywhere. I think we did. We just didn't look on this side of the booth. We were on the other side. I have this one in my personal collection too. 
That's a cool one. Vault of Horror, number 40. Weird Fantasy, 15. That's a great cover right there. 600 bucks on number 24, Crime Suspense. Vault of Horror, I mean, these books just keep going. 400 bucks on number 32. Oh, that one's great, 600. I would love to come home with um, like a few of these. This is a great one here. Very solid copies. They're just a little bit above my budget, unfortunately. Say goodbye for now. We might be able to come back on Sunday, though, when they're wheeling and dealing a little bit more and grab some of these. But I don't even know if they'll still be here. We did miss out on a couple books already so far because we didn't pull the trigger right away. So we're going to probably pass on these. But let me know what you guys would do. Would you grab these? We have Great Lens booth. Uh -huh. <laughs> and like, he has a huge oh, stack. Oh, that's awesome. And like, we're 100 bucks. Okay, I'm having trouble. <laughs> I'm trying to decide between two. So their original art pages, really cool. You got Spider-Man or Spider-Man, Spider-Woman three and Spider-Woman four. So I'm just trying to decide which one I want. They both got like different feels. Like this, you can actually see, you know, more Spider-Woman action with all the webbing and things like that. But I really like the artwork and the whole like calm look at this one. Waking up dancing and I like the boat at the bottom so I'm having a tough time what do you think Angela um I think I like the one with her displayed in the middle better but that one's a cool action that's what scene. I think I know that one's cool actually I think this would look nice better. okay I'm finally ready thank you very much yeah my pleasure brought snacks but I guess they weren't enough I tried <laughs> Beautiful artwork. Thanks, dude. The Thundercats. Oh, and there's the color version. Yeah, the colors, and there's the original. 250 bucks for this original, really. It's a very solid price for beautiful piece of artwork like that. Oh, you got Spawn, Amazing Spider-Man, Full Circle, coming down the chimney for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think of that, but that's exactly what he's doing. So put a Santa hat on him. So these two Jokers and Harleys, I was at an Emerald City Comic Con. Some dudes were looking at myself, they turned out to be DC editors, and they were like, hey, we would love to have you do covers for our new series, Deceased. Um, we, we love your Harley and Joker, could you like go harder and all that yeah. stuff? I was like, uh, that's kind of like my opus on those characters, right? But um, they were like, hey, we'd love to have you take take a crack at it. And then we came out with these right here. So. That's awesome. Yeah. Man, it, this yeah, Joker is sick. sick. So this is issue one. This is issue two right here. Awesome. Issue three. And then the Batman Who Laughs is issue four. Hey, Sam De La Rosa exclusive brought to you by Gator Guard Comics. The Virgin here, there is only 1,000 prints. Standard edition, 3,000 print. Virgin would cost you $40 unsigned. Standard would be $25 unsigned. This one right here is guarded by Gator Guard Comic Guard. This would be $40 for the book, $10 for each signature. That would be $60, $20 for the guard. But you have a beautiful display signed by both artists. Uh, Hand cut comics placed out to make this amazing Hulk 340 homage. Bro. Wow, you can see too all the separate pieces. He's been doing a killing like on these neon series that have been like really fun, and then everybody's been loving these acid drips that he's done, like that Spawn and Venom acid drip. And he's also done that Halloween and the It, and then that Alien is just a game changer. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Got a pull right signed now. by John Bernthal. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you sign this photo of us? <laughs> right. We'll see what it looks like in a little bit. Oh, that's right. so cool. What was your first name again? Later. Trey. Trey, okay. Yep. Nice, nice to meet you, Trey. Trey. Thank you so much. Let's see the magic. I, I tore out the Jim Lee, by the way. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Keep that one. <laughs> yeah, all right. It, it oh, seemed only awesome. fair. Right? Okay. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I don't know why he's always in a bad mood, but there it is. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Show Rubenstein's Wolverine That's Megacon awesome. 2023. Got everything we wanted to get done today. Got some original art added to the sketchbook. And yeah, picked up some cool exclusives. I'm gonna go home, gonna chill for a bit. There we go. Thank you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Make sure you guys keep an eye on where you're parked. I know where we are. If you're like us, you'll get lost. No, I know where we are. We have no idea where we're parked. Yeah, we know. We're right here.
all the way down there. Our good old traditional parking lot back of the car halls. <laughs> all right, so I'm really excited I got this. So I got an original page from Greg Land, Spider Woman, number four. Beautiful, beautiful artwork. I really liked all the panels on these. Nice little Spider Woman morning routine. So I'm gonna hang that up in the bedroom. Shout out to Trey for taking this cool Polaroid of us. It's developing really nicely, so I'll put this on the fridge. Oh, that was really fun. <laughs> it's really cool. All right, and then let's show you what else we got. We got a lot of exclusives today. We got the David Nakayama exclusives. Got him to sign these. Love that Scarlet Witch. Got another Silk. Oh, and where'd my spider? There he is. And there's my Spider-Man. So we got three of those signed by David Nakayama. We got two of the Power Girl full body foils. Really love those. Present really nicely. And then we got a black and a white of the Wonder Woman's. Kyle Willis sketchbook, limited to 100, only one per person. So we got the 15 out of 100 and the 19 out of 100. Angelo got the Batman number six from the new 52. That's a sick variant cover I was able to find. Yeah, this is the one in 25, right? Yeah, I think so. And then we got the Batman 608 second printing. Very high grade copy. And that awesome Venom number two. That thing is awesome. Joel Rubenstein. Full page of Wolverine. Got the bloody claws. We'll be back early tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. So we're gonna try to leave probably at like eight o'clock because the traffic's gonna be hideous. So hopefully we will get here nice and safely and be in the doors by 9.30 the latest is what I'm hoping. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and we will see you in the next one.